Okay, I wanted to make this quick video about this book because I answer a lot of questions on Quora and different places around the internet. And so often my answer is, buy this book. Um, and it'll, it'll save you. It'll fix your problem. You know, you'll be able to learn quickly. And then I get... I get like marked as spam as if I'm trying to sell some affiliate links. I I don't have any affiliate links. I don't um I don't have anything to do with this company. I just think that this book is amazing and is the answer to so many people's problems who are learning how to program. So this is the book. It's called Exercises for Programmers. Like I said, I don't work for these guys. It's the pragmatic programmers. I'm not going to say these people's names in case I pronounce them wrong, but you can look it up. You'll find it right away. It's a very inexpensive little book, especially if you get the digital copy. I think it's $10 for a digital copy and maybe 20 for the book. Uh, but the, the key thing here with this book is it is language agnostic, which means that it doesn't matter uh, what language you use. It doesn't care. All it is is a, it's a set of exercises that can be used with any language or any combination of languages or even no languages. You could just think things out in pseudocode, uh, really. The book is, is mostly just the, the challenges, but the first couple chapters really outline how to think about problem solving, how to break things into chunks, how to decide what pieces of information are important, how to tackle, you know, what order to tackle things in, um, how, to, how to think about, you know, what might be a f what might be good for a function or where, which things are lists and how do those things work together. What it reminds me of is that classic problem where computer science teachers will use a toaster as a as an example, you know, you think a toaster is, first of all, like, how could I program a toaster? So that's a conceptual hurdle to get over. Like, you can. And then once you think, oh, yeah, I can do that, then there's all these other fun hurdles. Like, well, I didn't think about how long it would have to be next to the heat. I just thought about how much heat to turn on or what is the toast in the toaster? Is the toast pushed down in the toaster? Are there four pieces of toast? Are there two pieces of toast? How does a timer work? How do I, you know, there's just a lot of like parts. And so I feel like this book is just like 57 of those. I recommend this book because it's the only collection of the exercises like this that I've run across. I think it's really great. But also any, any exercises is going to be better than following along with tutorials. It when when you have an exercise, you have to take it upon yourself to break down what pieces do I need to solve this? What what things do I need to take into consideration? And so then when you're looking at documentation when you're like let's say you're you're using JavaScript and you need to get a user input well, you're going to have to go look at, you know, the Mozilla Developer Network and you're going to have to say whatever input <laughs> and then you're going to find all sorts of different things and hopefully eventually you're going to come across confirm and prompt and alert and you're going to see all these window object methods and you're going to start kind of getting used to those things and then the next phase oh well now I, I really need the user to be able to push a button and you're going to go okay well I have this button element but how do I make something happen when it gets clicked so every step of the way you're forced to kind of go and figure out what you need then see what's available and then see how you can use those things that are available in combination to get the outcome so anyway that's that's my little video i'm gonna drop it around in quora places um so i don't have to keep writing that whole thing out so many times <laughs> Um, if you if you do get this book and you like it, you should let me know. I, I'd be curious what language you you went through the book with. Bye.